So in this MOOC, in all of the week's videos, we will use one running example for all of the videos that you will also work on in the exercises. And for this week, we are going to think about a spreadsheet to handle the stock exchange. I, I don't make a lot of money as a professor, so I have to do a little bit of investing on the side to make ends meet. So I have this little spreadsheet where I have a bunch of companies that I own some shares from, and the number of shares that I own. And of course now I want to know how is my stock portfolio doing? Am I making money on it? So what I need for this of course is recent stock information. I need to know what the value of all the stocks is that I have. So what I can do for that, let me make a new worksheet and go to the data tab. And there's a button right there, maybe you've never seen it or used it, it's called get external data. And with this button, I can get data into my spreadsheet from virtually everywhere. Let me show you how that works. So you click the button and you select from web. And what happens is that Excel opens this little browser, just a normal internet browser, and I can go to any website I want. So here I go to Yahoo Finance for the AEX, the Amsterdam Stock Exchange. And what you see there is that there are little arrows in the browser that I can use to select what data I want to have in my spreadsheet. So you just click the arrow and then you click OK and what you get where do you want the data? Well, just in A1. And there is the data, right from the web into your spreadsheet. Isn't that cool? And this data is not a copy-paste. It's not a static copy, because if you hit refresh, you'll actually get a new version of the website in your spreadsheet. No coding required, just getting the data in. So this is nice. What I can do now is calculate how much money I can make on the shares that I have in my portfolio. So let's continue. I have the value right there. You see, this is what my stocks are worth. However, I can't really calculate with them yet. Let me first get the number of shares I have in. So what I'll do now, I'll just copy it from the other worksheet. In next videos, we will definitely work on how to connect worksheets in a better way, but for now I'm just copying them. And what I would like to do is I want to multiply the number of shares that I have with their value. But I can't do it because the last trade value that I get from the web is just a text. It's a string, as we call it, and I cannot multiply it because not just the value is in there, but also the date and the, the time of the last trade. So I need to manipulate my data into being able to be calculated with. So let me add another column where I will try to obtain the real value, just the first part of the string and not the entire thing that I cannot do anything with. Well, what Excel has is a function called left, and that allows you for any text value to take a number of characters from the left. So what I can do now is here I want for this value just the first four characters. And then I get my value. However, I guess you maybe predicted this, for the second line this doesn't work because there are five characters and not four. So I need a little bit trickery, and I can use the find function for that. What the find function does is in a given text, it looks for a specific value and it gives you the location of that string. So you see here the space is on the fifth position in our string and we can use that in our left function. So now I'm not going to take four or five, what I'm going to take is the location of the space. And then I need to deduct one because I don't want to include the space, I just want the first part. And if I drag this formula down, you see nicely that I only have the value and now I can calculate something. Now I can drag the cell reference to the right or I could also just edit the text and now I have the right value for my stock. So I know what profit I would make if I would sell, sell all the stocks I have for the current price taken from the web. 
So what you learn in this video is how to use string functions to prepare data. And this is something you are going to encounter a lot in the following weeks. The data that you get from the web or data that you download within your company often will not have the right form. You get a longer list, you get something in a string where you wanted the text file, so you have to do some data wrangling before you can actually start your calculation. 